Hey, what's going on guys? Um, just thought I would do a real quick unboxing of some of the things I picked up for the PS4 so far. Uh, most of these came in the mail today. Knack I got the day before. Um, all of these were pre-ordered from Best Buy. Um, through several deals I was able to get each one of these games for $40 each. And the controller and the camera were the standard $59.99. Um, I guess I'll just quickly start with one of the games here. Uh, we'll just quickly go plow through these games. I know this isn't the first unboxing on YouTube, obviously, but um, here's the copy of Killzone. It looks like it comes with a seven-day trial of PlayStation Plus. Basically, that'll get you online. I don't know if that'll let. I'm sure it'll let you download the games. You'll just only have them for seven days. Um, yeah, there's a code in there. Um, no manual. Let's see. These discs have that kind of coating that the uh, the Wii. You'll notice the the Wii U games have this. It's kind of a real. S you can you can feel the plastic um, like an extra coating, um, scratch resistant, extremely scratch resistant from what I've seen. Uh, no manual, but on the inside of the uh, insert is a quick breakdown of um, some of the uh, controller configuration buttons and stuff. Um, the cases, I believe, are the same size as the uh, PS3. It is a little deceiving the um, with the blue plastic. It does make them look a little more slim to me. But it's pretty much it's spot on with the, uh, the uh, PS3 games. So. It's my first PS4 game right there. Killzone Shadowfall. Uh, pretty excited to play these. Uh, well, this this game, I have played these games before, um, have not been a big fan of uh, the Killzone series, but I am a graphics whore, and the, uh, the graphics look really good on that one. Up next is Call of Duty Ghosts. I kind of lost my excitement for this game, but um, I saw the comparison that uh, IGN did with the um, PS4 versus 360 and PS3 versions, and um, the, the game actually looked really good. I wasn't expecting to, to look super impressive. Um, Call of Duty, the engine's kind of getting dated. Um, yeah, I shouldn't show that, I guess. Map bonus pack, and yeah, just some more. Uh, not a manual. This is hideous. I don't like that at all. I hope they don't continue with that. That is brutal. Uh, safety warnings on the inside of the on in on the inside of the case. That I don't like at all. I don't ever want to see that again. That's brutal. Um, that just looks terrible to me. Yeah, Call of Duty. 1080p on the PS4. <laughs> um, I'm getting the Xbox too, so I'm I'm, I'm kind of glad I. Uh, the Xbox One also I'm getting. I'm kind of glad I pre-ordered the PS4 version of this though because it's running at 1080p. Um, it's debatable if that really even matters. All I know is if I was going to choose between the two, I'd go with 1080p over 720p. Um, next up, Knack. Uh, no manual whatsoever. Uh, I kind of like how they're doing this. That's much better than the um, health and safety warnings. Just a quick breakdown of the uh, control configuration. I miss manuals. They're kind of unnecessary these days, digital manuals and such, but uh, I really miss having that kind of fat feeling to a game and that little bit of weight. Just feel like you're getting more. Anyways, those are the first three games I have for the PS4. I am waiting on Madden, which will be the first Madden I've purchased, uh, brand new at least in years. Again, um, kind of excited for Madden. It looks really good. Uh, the physics, uh, graphics. And I think I'm just ready to give a football game a try. Also picking up NBA uh, 2K14 too. And then maybe something else, if it, something else gets a crazy high review. I'll just slide those up there. On to the PlayStation camera. I guess I'm not calling it the eye anymore. Um, this camera is extremely small. I was not expecting this. Um, compared to the Kinect camera, it's, I don't know, a 
tenth of the size. I might be exaggerating a little bit, but um, really nice packaging actually. It's got a real nice coating on it, nice and firm. Um, arrived safely in the mail, thank God. Uh, obviously, I, I keep everything, so um, yeah, I'm really happy with the packaging actually. So there's the camera. Nothing too special. I don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but two uh, lenses. Um, I believe it rotates here to move up and down. And just a standard USB connection. Instructions. And I believe this is a little stand. That's got some weight to it. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so, the camera sticks on like so, I believe. Um, maybe I gotta give it a better push. There we go. So, it looks like you can set the camera like that. I'm guessing this also acts as a mount for your TV to hold it steady. And uh, that's about it for the camera. Um, I'm kind of excited to try out the camera stuff. There's some really cool stuff with the uh, that you um, use the camera for in, in kind of conjunction with the um, the DualShock 4. Just some kind of tech demos, but still kind of cool. Um, at least there's something to do. Um, the Xbox One. I know there's a demo of Connect Sport or Connect uh, Sport. Yeah, Connect Sports Season Two or whatever. Um, that's one of the games I pre-ordered, and uh, I think it's unbelievable that uh, Microsoft would not release have that game ready for launch date um, to force people to buy a Kinect camera and then go ahead and um, delay the main Kinect game. Pretty much the only one in my mind. Uh, that Fighter Within is going to be a piece of shit, I can guarantee. Um, anyways. I guess it's nice to have something to use with the PS4 camera on, uh, on day one. Again, really cool packaging. Um, this is my first time holding this. Uh, I already like it better than the uh, DualShock 3. Um, wow. The sticks are quite tight. Um, they'll bounce back to that, they, they, they want to go back to the center position. Um, I would say even a little bit more so than the 360. Um, I like the configuration here, uh, almost like concave and convex kind of mixed together. Um, the D-pad's not bad. Uh, I wouldn't say it's great either. Um, let's see these triggers. Bumpers are okay. It definitely feels nicer in the hand. It's got a, it's less, uh, it's got a bit more texture to the plastic. And on the back, there's definitely more texture. It's actually really comfortable. I've got quite big hands. And uh, it feels really nice. Um, the triggers are much better than the DualShock 3. Uh, I'm not sure I quite like them as much as the Xbox One controller, which I have tried. I think I still like the Xbox One controller slightly better than this, but it's a big step up from the DualShock 3. Here's the touchpad. Um, I believe it acts as one independent button. Um, so where this I think is really going to sell is Excel is um, almost as a mouse pointer. And in uh, stuff like that where you need to check maps, like I think it was uh, Assassin's Creed 4 they were showing, um, you can scroll through the map real nicely with uh, using that. Options, I'm guessing, is like a select button maybe? I'm not too sure about that. And there's the share button. Um, I believe you can share with uh, Twitch TV and Ustream, or yeah, Ustream. Hopefully YouTube will come, obviously. I, I, it'd be really nice, easy for me to get some videos up of some gameplay. Um, there's the light there. I guess I could show this a little closer. Um, the uh, mic mini USB, I believe, connection um, does not come with one in the box. So 
Uh, I guess you'll have to use the one that comes with the system, which is a bit unfortunate, but I think that's a pretty standard connection. Um, not proprietary, which surprises me from Sony that they didn't use something crazy to force you how to to buy, uh, to force you to buy it. Um, anyways, guys, that's it for now. Like I said, I still have Madden and NBA 2K14 coming, and uh, I'll be picking up Rezo Gun for sure. Uh, Drive Club, I won't. Um, the other one that comes, I got to do some research on the other one. I think it's is it Closure or I think it's Closure. But I heard it's a platformer, so I'm actually going to go look that up right now. Those are the two free that come with the uh, PlayStation Plus. Um, I guess one thing I'll mention here, I just updated to the 3.0 software on the uh, Vita today too, and it has the uh, PS4 remote play setup. So that'll be interesting to see how that works. Uh, one real quick thing I want to mention here is uh, this is a uh, made by Pega. Anyways, I got this from DealExtreme.com, where I always mention that site. Um, but this is the kind of stuff I always get from there for super cheap. I think it was three or four bucks. Um, it looks a little awkward, but it makes this um, makes the Vita far more comfortable, far better for shooters, um, far better for pretty much every game, to be honest. Um, just want to quickly mention that for people who are going to play uh, remotely, um, might be a nice thing to pick up. Uh, yeah, like I said, you get it from DealExtreme.com. Um, yeah, so I, I guess that's about it for now. Stay tuned. I'll probably post another video when I get the uh, PS4. Um, room tour will be coming January 1st, hopefully. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Later.